growing up, I spent almost every weekend with my great grandmother. And one day when I was five years old, I was outside playing and I heard this loud car door slam. And I looked up and I saw this scruffy, cute little puppy being thrown out the door. And he fell on the dirt road in front of her house. So of course, what did every child do with a puppy? I ran over and I picked him up. And I decided in that moment that I was gonna keep him. And I named him Dusty. Because actually, he was so covered from dirt from that road and dust, I had no idea that he was black. <laughs> so my family continued to encourage me to help the community and do service. When I was younger, I would serve meals at a soup kitchen from time to time. And when I was in high school, I heard that there was a project that some hospice patients needed help playing cards. They were lonely. And I thought, what a great way to help people who are in that situation so they have some type of company. And that's actually one of the reasons that I chose to attend USD. So if you're wondering, Dr. Diamond, if you have an impact, you do. <laughs> I knew that community service was important to the students and to the faculty there. So once I got on campus, I was looking for a project to get involved with, and I heard about the Native American Engagement Project. I grew up in West Virginia. I had no idea about Native Americans. So I thought this sounds really interesting. And I started serving the kids in that community and teaching them about staying away from tobacco abuse. And I continued with that project for a couple of years. And this was back when actually the casinos that we now know and love at Saquon and Viejas were actually just being built. And the Native Americans who were on those reservations had a dream about those casinos, similar to the movie theme that we hear quite often and are probably familiar with. If you build it, they will come. This is very similar to the philosophy I hold about building your community while you build your businesses. When I graduated from USD in 1997, Dr. Alice Hayes was the president. And she told us that the school seal says imitum spiritum tuum. And that means send your spirit forth. And so now we send you. We send you out into the world to show the world how much we care for our community and how we want to help build the communities in which we live and work. And so I strive to live my life in this way every single day. I work very hard to build the businesses that I'm involved in, and I work equally as hard to help build those communities in which I'm living and working. When I moved to Los Angeles to start a new business project, it was one of the hottest summers on record. And I was very fortunate. I lived in this beautiful chick apartment in West Hollywood. But only a few blocks over, there were people on the streets living in poverty. And they and their animals were overheating, and they were thirsty. So as I stood in my apartment in the comfort of air conditioning, drinking my nice filtered cold drink of water, I thought, I need to do something about this. So I went to the dollar store, and I think I only spent about 50 bucks. And I got as many bottled waters and big gallon, five gallon jugs of water and little bowls that I could, and I packed up my car, and I drove over into the poorest part of Hollywood. And then any place I saw someone, this is a place where the tourists don't go, keep in mind. I pulled over the car, put my hazard lights on, and I offered them some water and some conversation. I wanted them to feel human, even if it was just for that moment. Incredibly, I ran out of water in only about an hour. So I left that area with an empty car, but a very full heart. And it was amazing. When I would start to pull out of some area, people would run out of hiding in corners I hadn't even noticed. And they would beg me if they could have some water for them and maybe for their dog as well. I would see the sadness in their eyes when I passed them a small water bottle. And then the utter surprise and happiness when I got out a small bowl and a big five gallon jug of water for their little beloved dog too. So then, as I was getting ready to pull out of the area, the police pulled me over. And they were like, are you okay? What's going on? You know, because here I am, this West Hollywood type person in the poorest part of Hollywood. And I said, I'm actually better than okay. And when I explained to them what I was doing, they had tears in their eyes. Because they simply didn't have the time and resources to be doing it themselves. You might be asking yourself, what does this have to do with me? I'm busy, I work, I have a company, I'm in school, I don't have time for some huge project. But I'm here to tell you, even the smallest projects like that one that you can think to do on your own will have an enormous impact on the communities in which you live and work. And you don't have to stop serving your community just because you're going away on a business trip or because you're going away on vacation. 
Actually, I'd like you to think about all of the hours that you spend sitting in that hotel room, watching a TV show that you know you've seen at least five times before. Wouldn't it be easier and more exciting to get out into the community and get to know local people? When you're volunteering, you're actually going to get to know people and learn about what it is they want to do in their community. When I take a road trip, I always take some bottled water and at least one big jug and some bowls with me. And I pull over if I ever see a stray animal and just offer them some food and water. These are projects you can do on your own. These acts of kindness not only make the communities you're living in better, it actually helps you improve your business too. What if you did a few minutes of research on the community projects available in that company that where you're going to be going, in that city, instead of just researching the restaurants or where you should eat or maybe the best shows that you should see while you're in town? When you volunteer, you're going to meet these local residents and you're going to learn about their community and what's important to them. And you might even see someone who's going to be important to you. This happened to me recently when I was volunteering at a dog shelter in Bosnia. So I went there, I was helping the animals, I met quite a few people, and the very next day, I met someone in a business meeting that was really important to me who had been at the shelter the day before. It completely changed the dynamic of that meeting because he knew that I cared about his environment and I shared his care for the community and for the animals just like he did. So another time the volunteering served me well was actually at a border. I had a couple papers that weren't quite right for my car and the Greek police weren't going to let me in. Kind of a problem. So they decided since they weren't going to let me in and my papers weren't in order, they were also going to search my car. And they found this dog food and cat food and they were like, well, where are your animals? And I said, huh, I don't have any animals with me. And I'm like, where are we going to go with this? So they said, oh, so you're smuggling food into Greece. <laughs> I was like, no, no, I don't need that and you're taking my car. And so I said, well, actually, I feed stray animals when I see them on the streets. And he just stopped and his demeanor completely changed. And he looked at his partner and he said, did you hear her? She feeds stray animals on the streets. We don't even do that. Our own people don't even do that in our towns and our cities. And then he turned back to me and he said, welcome to Greece. So my challenge to you this evening is to leave here and think about what you can do to help develop your communities where you're living and working while you're developing your business. You have a few cards on your seat that you can have in your hand when you leave. And you really only need to think about these three things. What's your passion? What's the need where you're living or where you're going? And what can you do? You can participate in something large like a Habitat for Humanity build. You can do something local like serve a meal at a soup kitchen, maybe on your lunch break or at dinner time out with your colleagues. And you can even do something as simple as getting some food and water and putting in your rental car and stopping if you see someone in need. You're going to be rewarded far beyond what you can ever imagine. And the people and the animals in that community are going to know that you weren't just that person who zipped into town to develop your business and left. You cared about the community too. And the impact of that is priceless.